Hello there. Now, before we get too into the video, I did say yesterday that I'd show off my other Lego shirt at the start of this video that I got for my birthday. As you can see, it says eat, sleep, build, repeat. Now, that's not been the only thing I've been doing these last few days. There should be a 3D printing in there because I have 3D printed some Lego, not only Karmas, but I've also found some pauldrons as well to 3D print. Now, I haven't made any of my own pauldrons. The pauldrons do actually belong to someone else, but I have cut out 3D print and crafted together some different types of karmas that I think will definitely change how you build your clone armies because we know that Lego aren't too keen on karmas, which isn't personally a problem for me if they gave us just dual molded legs, perhaps side of the leg printing would be better than dual molded because we're not sure how the white would react to the dark greys, dark blues and blacks. But I think that 3D printing your own is definitely an avenue that Lego could even get behind themselves because if they're not going to give us karmas, they're not losing anybody by making their own. But at the same point, they could sell some 3D printed karma packs, just a little bundle of 10 karmas, 10 pauldrons, some different pauldrons, not even material, but use some recycled plastic like they use for the grassy bits. And it would honestly be swept up and loads of people would be buying them. Now, whether that'd be a smart business move for Lego, perhaps not. But once again, if you end up enjoying this video, do drop a like. It helps support the channel and subscribe for more awesome content. We are closing in on 1K. There's a few different things that I'm doing. I've said about the upgrades to the Lego room. I've also said about the special room tour video, which I can't believe that I'm yet to do. But if they're not reasons enough, hopefully this video will give you the idea of the awesome content you'd be missing out on. So let's take a look at these 3D printed karmas. Now, as you probably know, Lego have most recently released this fives figure with a pauldron, which even after I've bent it, you can see there's a little angle to it perhaps, but it does just flatten out over time. So... They're definitely still experimenting when it comes to different pauldrons and pieces. And I'm using an old black waist cape, this Karma down here, for the fives, which I have added. It's an official Lego piece, but I guess it makes it somewhat custom considering the figure doesn't come with it in the first place. But I've actually replicated this piece using paper before 3D printing it. And it's definitely an option if you don't have a 3D printer or are unable to cut out the proper material. As you can see, the paper cutout isn't even the left side slightly lower than the right. But besides that, especially on camera, of course, it's got the different feel and different texture. But you can't really tell the difference between the two. I just traced the real Lego one, cut it out on my own. And once again, it's based off an official Lego design. You won't really see anyone selling it because, well, they're just unable to sell it if it's based off a Lego design. But I think it definitely does work out. Perhaps you can get someone else to cut it for you if you know they've got a steadier hand. And that does bring me to a point about the table. The table's not too secure. So if there's any wobbling throughout this video, I do apologise. But... Hopefully, as soon as we hit the 1k subs, I can get that standing desk and that should be a lot more secure than even my old desk. But I didn't just cut out bits of paper. You want to see the 3D printing. So I ended up 3D printing two different types of waistcoats. And I've just got to double check that I'm showing you the correct one first. This one here is a two layered 3D printed waist cape and what this enabled me to do was to take the dimensions of the official lego cloth and i think they use an acrylic coated cotton it says somewhere on their website so you can fact check that if you are interested but what i've just used here is two layers of pla because it's one of the most flexible materials i have that isn't like a rubbery nurse that would just make it impossible to work with and what this has allowed me to do is it's printed flat, so this is a flat print, and I actually discovered rafts whilst doing this because even though I do spend hours before every print checking that my base plate of salts is perfectly flat, I still don't trust it fully. I have ended up with a glass one. I know the plastic ones are a bit better. If you know a bit about 3D printing, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But I've discovered rafts which are so good because... 
they allow me to print things like this and not worry about one side being off and I heavily recommend using them for certain projects probably not these sort of projects because it was a pain to get off but this is a two layer at 0.2 millimeters so as you can see this is 0.4 millimeters thick not even a millimeter in thickness but it sticks up a lot above the leg so I wasn't very happy with this as I said this is my first design so to improve it I actually knocked off a layer I made a one layered print at 0.2 millimeters so this is 0.2 this is even thinner and it does get a bit closer to that lego gap in the torso of course it is plastic not cloth so it's not going to fold into itself so there is definitely a small gap there but I was much happier with this one than the last one and to compare it to the actual cloth piece of course the dimensions are perfect so unlike the paper one you're not going to have one side a bit longer than the others you can see they are at the same level and if this was black it would probably look a bit better green is one of the only colors i've got to work with i mean i've got all the green reds and blues but i definitely need to invest in black the only black i think i own is a ptg which is a bit harder to print with i haven't quite now to that and i'm not sure it will have as much flexibility as pla but if you do know something that i could use in place of pla definitely let me know down in the comments and i'll give it a look but these aren't the only waste capes that i have printed of course we've got the cut out and just to show you the printing is definitely better especially because it matches the actual scale of the original cloth piece but i did find some other designs which i have just below camera here of the older phase one karmas let me show you what i mean so my first lego set come with a bunch of these and we've got the karma here we've got the pauldron on top which i haven't seen anyone try it to mimic so that could be quite an interesting piece to print you could probably also get around to printing visors via 3d printers which allows you just to print in a whole range of colors and perhaps if i'm ever making a custom that needs a different color visor it's definitely something i will look at trying to print but of course you've already seen these what drew me initially to this whole project that someone had done was actually the other karma they had in the same slot you can see it's much more of a realistic karma much more like the cloths that we've been looking at and also just adds a bit of detail to originally what lego had was very squared off and very much a bricked design which i guess around the time just look at the lego star wars clone wars faces they were definitely in an experimental phase and it did restrict the movement of the legs but i have actually printed off both of these so you can see against the original lego trooper which does have a broken b1 head you can see compared to the 3d printed one it does look more or less the same i guess perhaps lego i mean definitely lego have some tighter restrictions on the accuracy but it holds up against it if it was in black you could also do this in a dark gray perhaps even a dark navy blue color and you can actually see the first custom pauldron we have which against lego's old design i think it's nice because of how old and nostalgic it is but i definitely prefer the one in green on the right but that isn't the only custom karma and pauldron combo we have because they also had a double-sided one which i've put on this coruscant guard troop here and you can see that the karma just looks that much more accurate again you've got that little bit between the torso and legs there just for the karma which isn't perfect but considering it's a 3d printed plastic mold it does look really cool and even the back looks quite good if we get back the other 3d printed one that i had you can see the backs are very similar but the 3d printed solid karma actually keeps its shape a bit better than the flat printed one and comes in a bit more at the front which a load of people would probably like to see a bit more of the karma at the front because you do have it printed on the front of the lego legs so it would be covering that and there are another two pauldrons that i am going to show off you've seen the sort of full-on pauldron here but there's actually two which don't have the rest of the top bit because once again lego do print that top bit for any clones that do require the pauldrons you can see on fives you've even got the ammo pouch printed so perhaps something like this 
would be better to print to go along with and there are two types that i found i will leave the link to this design in the description if you're interested this blue 501st clone which is the old 501st clone by the way i definitely would like to take another look at that set at some point does have a little bit more sticking out over the shoulder which personally i didn't find as nice as this 187th clone here which does just not have anything over the end of course you can tell it's 3d printed you can still see the layers in it but give it a little you probably wouldn't even need to sand it just give it a little paint job over the top and it will be looking as smooth as even lego's cloth pieces so i am going to whack some of the 3d printed elements on fives in just a second but there are another set of these that we can just take a closer look at you can see that the pauldrons do just clip around the neck and over the torsos of course you've got to size them up correctly based on your printer this was the first copy that i did so you can see you probably even buff down that middle bit get some of the loose plastic bits away but this pla isn't as strong as the abs that lego use which i've used it for a reason as well i guess because if either of these are going to break i would rather the pla pieces here that i've printed break rather than the lego figures which especially if we're going to be whacking these on fives i don't want any harm coming to that minifigure it's still produced by lego but it's in a 50 pound set quite expensive and i think now's the time to check out fives in his new gear which honestly doesn't look half bad i have had to remove the backpack that is a problem with the 3d prints i guess i'm not too fussed about fives having his backpack but i know it's the same backpack as the old battle pack arc trooper and i'm not sure if it's been used anywhere else but I really like the designs for this. I think the legs I definitely prefer in the paper slash flatter 3D printing because you don't have any, if much, movement of the legs. You can see you can wobble him and angle him a little bit, but even then, it's not really that much. You could probably get away with him running if you use one of the superhero poses. I'm not quite sure if it looks uh oh no you can have him running in these karmas so there is enough wiggle room for him to be in some sort of action pose and like with all the other plastic elements there's not really any space for his hands to be at the side so he has to be guns up and ready for action but it does look pretty cool if you are a fan of the karmas and the pauldrons over the left and right hand side or even just the other sides because as i said you probably could get away with doubling up the smaller pauldrons and i think that looks really cool if they were in black right now i think that would be the perfect way to display your clones so i'll probably have to print a few more of these try them out with the rest of my clone army perhaps paint a few of them black although it's definitely better to print them in black so i'll give it a go with the PTG and at some point i'll let you know what that looks like because there is much more that i'd like to 3d print to go alongside with my lego and as i said lego aren't making the karmas they're sort of doing the pauldrons but i don't think we'll see pauldrons for any of the other clone troopers so i don't think lego will tackle the pauldron karma problem it is a problem for a lot of people in the lego star wars community they would like to see a few more karmas and pauldrons so 3D printing is definitely an avenue I recommend. Of course, it's an expensive hobby to get into, but if you are already down that street, you might as well print yourself some Karma's pauldrons, try them out on your clones, and it's going to be cheaper than trying to pick up some of the official Lego ones, which aren't cheap at all. But let me know what you thought about the video by dropping a like and subscribe for more awesome Lego content. May the bricks be with you always.